Welcome back, collectors. Thank you so much for tuning in to another installment of Diecast Emporium. Today, as you can tell from the title and the picture in front of you, we're going to be reviewing a NZG model. This is the Caterpillar 769 off-highway truck, the 769C version, uh, more specifically. As you guys may know, this is the first off-highway truck that Caterpillar ever produced, so it is very significant in their company's uh, in the company's history, rather. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the very simplistic style of packaging that NZG chose to use for that time period, which I am honestly a huge fan of, if you've seen any of my other NZG cat reviews. Very simplistic, but with simplicity comes professionalism, and I can certainly appreciate that. And with the, as I like to call it, the outline or the blueprint drawing of the truck on the side, just a simple description of what it is and the cat logo. On the side, you have a description of it in multiple different languages. Same thing on the reverse side, scale 1 to 50 scale. And underneath, you have all of your copyright information. So, with that done and over with, let's move on to the model. It is housed inside of cardboard, which is easy enough to just take out and get out of the way. So, the C version would imply that this is kind of the third installment of the 769 saga, if you will. Obviously, the original 769, the 769B, now the 769C. And it's really a very basic, um, with this model being well over, you know, 25 years old now, a quarter century of the year, uh, quarter century old, rather. It doesn't have the style or, or the bells and whistles of today's models, but it's still good and it's it still functions phenomenally it has working steering which you want in any model that has steering in the real world and it's notched enough that it will hold the pose either direction that you set it as you can clearly see here but the best part of any dump truck is its dumping angle and this truck performs flawlessly in that department as you can see, the dumping angle is so great that it, the top of the bed goes off the screen. So, a very good, scores very high there. So no, it's not going to have your bells and whistles, your warning labels, um, your painted stairs or any of that, your silvered mirrors. But for the time... It was pretty darn good. And yes, I did buy mine secondhand, so it's going to have a few scrapes and maybe, you know, a paint chip here or there. But I still think it's a phenomenal model. If you own a 769 uh, in the real world, or if you've ever operated one, which I know that's a big part of our hobby, is a lot of people like to collect the uh, pieces of equipment that they, well, operate or own in the real world. This is certainly uh, a favorite, and... Again, they're not too terribly hard to find. They are available on places like eBay. And uh, again, they're not, they're not horrible when it comes to uh, price. Looking underneath, a very, very basic, a somewhat realistic tread pattern. We'll give it a pass just for the time period. Um, the, the very few parts that are plastic on this, such as the wheels themselves, the color match, again, isn't perfect, but we'll give it a passing score for the time. And the steering is notched rather than being realistic. But again, who cares? It works. As for the information underneath, NZG model, scale 1 to 50, model number 222, made in Western Germany. So just from there, we can tell that the original, the original part of this casting was made prior to 1989. One thing I do want to point out, and... It's not coming through as clearly as I wanted to, as I would like it to on camera, rather, is if you look inside the cab, and old NZG cat models are notorious for this, and if you own any number of them, you guys probably can figure out what I'm about to say. But they chose different color window tints, and this one has more of a shade of green. However, on camera, it's coming shining through more of like a navy blue color. Um, which again, you know, it's it's not it's not the end of the world. But just be aware that if you're expecting to get one with, you know, navy blue interior, at least mine, 
when you're not looking at it through the camera, when you have it in front of you, it's definitely more of a green tinted look to it. So, another interesting as aspect of 769s in particular is if you guys have seen my video earlier in the year from the Diecast Masters uh, Off Highway Truck Evolution set, the, six the 769 is actually what they chose to represent here. Um, part and partial because it was the first off highway truck the cat produced, so it you know holds a significant part in the company the uh, company's lineage and history. So here is the original 769 posed with a more current and modern truck in that size class, which would be the 770. So the three of these would make a very interesting display in uh, in your display cabinet or on your shelf because you could have kind of the um, the full history, if you will, or three generations. You'd have you know the 769 then the the middle version and then the more current or modern era equivalent truck in that size class which is the 770 so just something to think about there so there you have it guys a review of the nzg cat 769c in 1 to 50 scale again can't emphasize this enough a long a model that has been discontinued for a, a number of years you're not going to find these readily available from hardly any of the uh the well-known mainstream model distributors, so you will have to look at places like eBay, for example, to find them. But the good news in this case is that they're not unbearably expensive. They are very reasonable, and you should be able to find one with relative ease. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next review.